This week I'm teaching my groups how to write three different types of really important emails. The first one is how to contact a total stranger and make a request of them. Like, hey, can I shadow you on the job for a day, or can you look at something that I've created and give me feedback? The second email is how to ask for a letter of recommendation really intelligently. And I've gotten a lot of emails saying like, hey, can you give me a letter of recommendation and like end email? And so I'm going to show everyone how to write a letter of recommendation, how to ask for one, and uh, make it really easy for the person writing the letter to give you a powerful response. And finally, how to write a straightforward appreciation email. Uh, you did something really great for me, I appreciate you, that's it, clean, simple. Boom. at the Adventure Semester, I had the opportunity to switch with Joel, King of the Kitchen, to lead a culinary uh, adventure challenge. And um, I feel really grateful for that because I love to be in the kitchen. So I'm leading a different adventure every day. And they could be anything from an international food challenge or maybe super healthy, um, nutrient-dense food or raw food, anything under the sun. I'm giving the students a lot of flexibility and, um, to come up with whatever they want. Today, this group chose to focus on Thai sauces. So that's what we're doing today. Oh, and there's this amazing lady who we met in town named uh, Rose Reyes who uh, donated a lot of the ingredients that were really hard to find that we would have never found in Crested Butte. So we're very grateful to her. Thank you. Hey, what's going on? I'm Joel. I'm taking a break from leading kitchen-related challenges this week to lead a challenge in perseverance. Each um, teen here has been given um, a challenge that takes a lot of perseverance and repetition, like learning how to ollie on a skateboard, learning how to juggle, learning how to pick a lock, learning how to sing a certain song, um, learning how to do basic parkour techniques. Um, and the idea is to flex that muscle of focus. So when they get into situations where they're doing things they love, they're not going to be hindered by um, like their mind telling them they're not able to. So we're working through a lot of mental barriers today. I think it's going to be really great. challenge was about creating a safe space in which the group could reflect on each other's patterns and behaviors that we found weren't fully serving ourselves and provide each other with real raw feedback and in doing so reflect on our own patterns and behaviors and insecurities and do it in a really beautiful space coming from a place of love.